Hey, what's going on, friend? It's Dr. Del Toro. Listen, I am really, really excited that you've joined me back here at my channel. And I want to talk to you from one of my books that I absolutely love and I live by. It's called Thriving Through Your Storm, 12 Profound Lessons to Help You Grow Through Anything You Go Through in Life. And I was just sitting here reading some of the content and I'm just stuck. I, I can't even lie to you. I'm stuck in the intro on page number three. Your problem is not the problem. It's the way you're thinking about the problem. That's the problem. I wanted to do a sit down session with you um, because I just want to talk. It's just me and you. There's no big lights, no big fanfare. It's just us. Your problem is not the problem. It's the way you're thinking about your problem. That's the problem. Mm. So let's just talk honestly right now. I want you to think of something that represents a problem to you right now? Is it a financial problem? Is it a relational problem? Is it an emotional problem? Is it a parenting problem? Is it a, a customer acquisition problem in your business? Is it a conversion problem in your business? You've got customers, you just can't convert them, right? No matter what the problem is, the problem itself is not the problem. It's the way you're seeing that problem. That's the problem. Wayne Dyer said it best, he said, when we change the way we look at things, the things that we look at change. You know, I do an illustration in a lot of my keynotes where I will put on the screens an image of a woman and a horse. And I ask the audience, okay, how many of you all think that the woman and the horse is walking towards us? And 50% of the hands will go up. And I say, how many of you all think the woman and the horse is walking away from us? Another 50% of the hands will go up. And then I said, how many of y'all aren't gonna answer this no matter what I ask? <laughs> But it's interesting because I do this all over planet Earth and no matter what the demographics or psychographics of the audience is, the response is still the same. The audience is divided because they can't determine whether the woman and the horse are walking towards us or away from us. And what I make the audience then do is I say, okay, I want you to shift your eyes to see the woman and the horse walking towards us. Can everybody see it? All the hands go up. Now shift your eyes as if the woman and the horse are walking away from us. Can everybody see it? All the hands go up. I said, listen, y'all, the image is not changing. We are changing internally. And I want you to consider something. Is it possible that you just need to look at your problem from a slightly different vantage point? Is it possible that you need to look at it from a different lens? Is it possible that you need to process it from a different viewpoint, right? You could be so stuck on seeing your problem as only one way. And maybe that's the problem. Maybe the fact that you're seeing it as a problem is the problem. Have you ever thought about the fact that maybe you're supposed to view it as a challenge? Have you ever thought about the fact that you need to view this as an opportunity? Have you ever thought about the fact that you could view this as feedback? So for example, you might be looking at your bank account right now and your bank account is not where you want it to be. You can say, okay, I have a money problem or you could say, my bank account is giving me feedback that the things that I'm doing is only generating enough money to barely pay the bills. And I have more month left over at the end of my money, <laughs> right? I've been there before. I know what it feels like. So is it possible that your bank account is not the problem? The money that you make is not the problem. It's more so your perspective on it that's the problem. Maybe your bank account is telling you that you need more streams of income. Maybe your bank account is telling you that you need a new job or a different career position. Maybe your bank account is telling you that you aren't diversified enough in your investments so that your money can be making money. Maybe your bank account is telling you that it's time for you to leverage and dust off some of those old skills that you stopped using that brought you money previously. Does that make sense? It's not the problem. It's the way you're looking at the problem that could be the problem. Um, when COVID happened, right, my daughter's grades went down. Um, I could have blamed it on the school system and said, it's the school system's fault. It's COVID's fault. 
the way I, I could have seen it and said and just blamed it on the school system and the and these teachers don't know how to teach virtually and in person at the same time and, and the, the online learning platform is all wrong right I could have looked at that as the problem and said you know they're the issue and played the blame game or I could have said how do I need to step up as a dad how do I need to step up as a single dad? How do I need to step up and be more involved in my daughter's academics and education to help them make better choices academically and step up during this pandemic? And that's exactly what I did. It's not your problem, my friend. It's the way you're looking at the problem that's the problem. Are you only looking at it from one vantage point, from one lane? You know, there's a movie called Vantage Point and it stars um, Dennis Quaid and um, Forrest Whitaker and several other great actors and actresses. And it's kind of like Groundhog's Day because they start the movie over like six or seven different times, right? But each time they start the movie back over from the beginning, you see it from a different, because it's like a, there's a presidential figure who's giving a, like a, a, an address and then the president gets shot. And so they spend the whole movie trying to figure out who shot the president. But they keep starting the movie back over, and each time they start it over, you see the president being shot from a different vantage point. That's the name of the movie, Vantage Point. And that movie teaches me a lot about life and problems. It teaches us how to look at a situation from different vantage points. How could you look at your money situation differently? How can you look at your relationship situation differently? So in other words, instead of saying, okay, I keep, there's no good men around because all I keep dating are jerks and players. Ladies, maybe that's what you're saying, or maybe that's what you're experiencing. Instead of saying there's no good men around and that's the problem, what if you changed your vantage point? You said, maybe it's where I'm going to meet these men. That's the problem. Maybe it's my selection process. That's the problem. Maybe it's, it's my standards. Maybe it's my criteria. Maybe, maybe, maybe the apps aren't for me. Maybe, 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 maybe I need to get in some different friend groups. Does that make sense? Maybe I need to travel and meet someone over, maybe meet someone abroad, right? Maybe the bait that I'm using to catch these people with is the wrong bait, right? In order to change the mate, you have to change the bait, right? So I believe in life. It's not the problem. That's the problem. It's the way we're seeing the problem. That's the problem. So I want you today to grab some fresh brand new lenses and look at your situation from a different perspective. And sometimes that just means finding some people around you that love and care about you to give you their perspective on your situation. Because sometimes it's hard to see the picture when you're the frame. You're too close to it. Sometimes it takes people right outside of you to look back at you and look at your situation and give you a different take, a different lens, a different perspective. I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you don't have a copy of this book, get it right now. Get it on um, Amazon. Get it on Audible. I actually did the recording of this on Audible so that you can hear my voice uh, sharing it with you. Powerful concepts and principles to help you take your life and your leadership to the next level. And I guarantee you it'll shift some things for you into a higher gear. If this book blesses your life and this video has blessed your life, like, subscribe, comment below, share this broadcast with other folks. Text the word SHIFT to 647-558-9895. Text the word SHIFT to 647-558-9895. If this one video lesson alone has shifted some things in you to help you thrive through your storms. God bless you, my friend. We appreciate you. Can't wait to see you in the next broadcast. Know that I'm somewhere around the planet believing for you to shift everything in your life into a higher gear. Talk soon.